This is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. I hope you're having a really good day. In this video, I explore the Midwest Automotive Designs Weekender Motorhome, a Class B motorhome that just happens to be four-wheel drive, and that's according to the salesman on the lot at Vought RV. So there I am posing in front of this unit, wishing I had it in my driveway. Again, I went to Vought RV Centers, and they have a couple of locations where they sell our RVs, uh, Class A's, travel trailers, and uh, one specific lot is de devoted to Airstream. And this lot right here has all the other products. And across the highway is their service center. So they got it all going on over at Vought RV. So the air conditioning shroud, the antenna, everything here is matte black and they have all kinds of running lights it's it's definitely uh set up to go off-road again right there's a front windshield and they have you know running lights very nice so they have uh, off-road tires and rims and uh i love this unit it would definitely be great for boondocking i would raise a chassis just a few more inches and uh, it'll be definitely <laughs> ready to go off-road so that's the back opened up. Now let's go open in the, the door and get inside. Let's check it out. This unit has four sets of chairs. Uh, you're, you know, and this company makes limousines. So they know how to make very nice chairs. And these chairs are sweet, sweet. I wish I had that chair right now to sit on in my office. That is posh. Has a convection microwave up there, a Blu-ray player, uh, some controls, uh, some speakers, vents, and a TV right there. Very nice. There's nothing to complain about as you're traveling to grandma's house or the grandkids' house or just to the game or just to go camping for a few days. This is going first class. So you have a place to put your cup and you have controls and a little pocket there to store some stuff. Here's some photographs. My camera takes better pictures than my uh, video camera does, so I should shot, show you some of the stuff this uh, beautiful Class B has. And of course, these chairs have their own individual remotes, and uh, very nice. I love it. What do you think? Do you like these chairs? You rather have something else there, like storage, maybe uh, uh, some other items? You know, people make choices when they buy a Class B. What are you going to put in there? Some extra space for people to sit? Or are you going to add uh, more storage and other stuff? Here's some close-ups of the, the items in that area up front. Let's go up front and check out what's, uh, you know, the seats. Again, these also have controls. And this little bit of video here is from the Passage version, not the Weekender version. I didn't get a chance to shoot some video. Oops, you know, I made a mistake. I apologize. I will never make that mistake again. So this has a lot of stuff there. The little square area there has some specific controls. And that looks like a backup monitor for your backup or observation style, you know, uh, camera. So right there, they have little pads above your head. So in case you're bouncing down the road and you know, accidentally bounce up, you'll crash your noggin too bad. So those are the chairs. I love those chairs. I could shoot the <laughs> I got a little bit obsessive taking video of those chairs. But what do you think of those chairs? Would you like to have those chairs in your uh, Class B motorhome? So it has nice storage. It has these three drawers uh, right under the sink. All plywood boxed and uh, with metal glides and solid wood fronts very nice one two three i can count amazing solid surface and a porcelain bowl what's not to like huh i love it an induction cooktop and i'm pretty sure this unit has uh you know a generator i don't know if it's gas i don't know if it's propane i know the other unit had uh solar prep this one might you know you can pick and choose what you want off a checklist i'm pretty sure the folks at vought will get you in with whatever you want and get it uh, sent to you and uh, you can uh, enjoy camping you know camping not camping camping first class yeah go camping first class nice glass door uh, i like that that little ripply uh, sort of effect uh, you know so you, and the you know plastic a uh, little 
simple little plastic uh, shower curtain. I had a problem getting inside, so I had to use footage from my uh, other video from the passage. They're very similar. I would recommend when you uh, go to uh, Vought RV and buy this, you know, that you double check that, you know, everything's uh, the way you like it. Uh, you know, so that's a little core that you can stretch to the other side and, um, you know, hang your swimming suit or one towel or your swim trunks, whatever you want, but nothing too heavy because it'll probably break. Uh, porcelain toilet, and on the other side of the toilet, there's a little basket so you can put some products. Nice little shiny uh, threshold right here. I loved it. I love it a lot. Yes. And these floors have that uh, sort of woven vinyl look. Uh, it's uh, very popular today. Uh, I saw it in a, a similar version in an Airstream Atlas, a $220,000, you know, Class B+. Plus. So plenty of uh, windows on each side and storage, you know, on each side also. So there's plenty of opportunity for you to put things away. And there's a little TV in a control center right below it. And again, storage up there. And that's the bed. And it comes down. As you're walking back here, that, that ceiling's at about mm, five feet. So from floor to that uh, bed, it's about five feet. I, you have to duck a little bit. At least most of us have to duck. If you're short, you're, you're set. You can, you know, just walk right through like you own the place. So there's a TV to the left, uh, storage both left and right, and the bed above you, and plenty of windows. As you see to the left is the shower, and to the right is the, you know, ACDC, I'm pretty sure, uh, you know, refrigerator and your kitchen appliances. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much. I would greatly appreciate it. And I'd like to thank the folks at uh, Vought RV Centers. They are the best. They are very nice to me. They were very polite. They let me go in and out, take a lot of video. I appreciate it. Vought RV Centers in Fort Worth, Texas. This has been Asus Manuel Menagarza. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.